Okie dokie. Good afternoon. Thanks for waiting. All right. So I want to thank Senators Murray and Cantwell for joining us. Now, this week, Senate Democrats uh, intend to pick up where we left off in June by bringing every single member of this chamber to task on a woman's fundamental right to choose. Tomorrow, the Senate will vote on the Reproductive Freedom for Women Act, hoping to finally put women's health care decisions up to them once and for all. I thank Senator Murray for leading this bill and every single female senator on our side for co-sponsoring it. And the resolution asks some very simple questions. Where do senators stand on freedom of choice? Do we believe a woman should have a basic right to health care? Do we agree that the rights protected under Roe should be protected under federal law? Of course, Democrats have made it und und abundantly clear where we stand. Yes, we emphatically believe that women should be free to make their own health care choices. All year long, Senate Republicans have shown everyone how out of touch they are with the mainstream. Senate Republicans have shown that for all their attempts to sound moderate on reproductive care, when it comes time to vote, they will choose MAGA extremism over the Republican people. When Senate Republicans blocked federal protections for contraceptives, they chose MAGA extremism over the American people. There's, this is no surprise. This is no mistake. They did the same thing when they blocked federal protections for IVF. They chose MAGA extremism over the American people. And when Donald Trump announced he would nominate hard right justices to the Supreme Court for the explicit purpose of overturning Roe, these same Senate Republicans enthusiastically voted to confirm them. Not once, not twice, three times. So make no mistake, the MAGA hard rights attacks on women aren't done. First it was abortion, then contraception, then IVF. What's next? If they get the chance, they will push for their ultimate goal of a national abortion ban. That's why voting on legislation protecting access to these things, like contraception and IVF, was so important. And that's why affirming a woman's fundamental right to choose is so important as well. Let me turn it over to Patty.